Good evening, my name is Brandon with Machine Washable Photography, and today I'm going to kind of go over my kit that I'm going to use for a shoot I've got tomorrow. I'm getting ready to do a promotional thing for me for Valentine's Day, and my idea is I'm going to have a model that is uh, going to be in a pair of jeans with a bra on that's got a little bit of color to it. And what I'm wanting to do is to have a painted heart on her stomach just to kind of go with the whole Valentine's theme. But first I'm going to go over what I'm going to be using for my kit tomorrow. Here we have the Mamiya RZ67 Pro 1, or the original. Uh, I've got the waist level viewfinder on it, and I haven't decided yet. I may use the 110 or the 180. Uh, typically I like to stick with my prime uh, normal lens with the 110, so I'll probably end up using it tomorrow. Um, another thing I will be using more than likely is a Coke and filter holder. Um, the film I'm using for tomorrow will be the uh, Fuji Pro 800Z. Um, I'm going to be using it in probably full daylight, so I'll have to cut down the light just a little bit probably. Um, so I'll be taking this along with me. Also, I'll be shooting handheld through the uh, waist level viewfinder. So I will be putting the grip on there. Um, this is a pretty simple grip to apply to the kit itself. It just goes on to the bottom and just screws on like so. Makes it just a little bit easier to handle when you're trying to shoot uh, with a waist level finder. Also, when I'm shooting, uh, because this is a manual camera, I will take one of two light meters with me. I'll either take a the uh, Seconic light meter. I usually use this when I'm using strobes or whatnot like that. Uh, if I'm just using the natural light setup, I like to stick with this little uh, light meter. It's an older one, but it's still good and works great for me. So I'll get all this out of the way. And what I'm going to do for paint, uh, I live in a small town and we don't have Walmart and whatnot like that in a close vicinity. So I'm going to make my own paint. Uh, with a lot of the paints you see, they can have different chemicals that will um, react to the skin and that cannot be good for skin sometimes. Uh, what I'm going to make for you today is going to be a very simple one. Actually using uh, instant non-fat dry milk, um, which is available at any supermarket. And a little bit of water and then food coloring um, of your choice. Like I said for tomorrow, I'll probably be using a red color. But just for the demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and use my favorite color, which is green. Uh, so what you'll do is you'll start out with a little bit of the non-fat dry milk. And you'll mix this in a little bowl, um, typically equal parts or to whatever your liking is. So we'll put a little bit of that in there. And I've got a little bit of water here. We'll kind of pour that in. And we'll mix it around. What you kind of want is a nice little paste. Uh, if it gets too runny, it's not going to coat very well. So we'll mix this up a little bit. You can kind of see it's still a little bit runny. Uh, but it will get thicker as you mix it. I might add just a little bit more in there. There's no real formula to it. It's just kind of a guess and check. Just to, like I said, get to the mixture that you're wanting. So we'll get this mixed in a little bit. It's kind of getting thicker um, like I want it. What you'll want to do, if you're using something other than the color white obviously, you'll want to make sure you get all the powder mixed in there because it will leave little white specks in your, uh, in your paint or on your subject or whatever you decide to use it on. So we'll get that mixed in there real nice. You can kind of see it's getting a little bit thicker not too bad I'll go ahead and add in the color um, put a few drops in to start out with there's about five there we'll mix that up see what kind of kind of color we got going to be a kind of a nice dark green. It's going to be kind of hard to see. I'm using a green container, so that probably wasn't the best choice, but you can just kind of see it doesn't make a little bit of a mess, but I mean, it's all basically milk, so there's no harm done. Uh, you may stain clothes with the, the coloring, 
but we'll get that mixed up real nice and get all the white chunks out of it. Then after you get it all mixed up and you're not seeing any more white chunks, there's still a little bit of white around the edges, but for the most part it's pretty well, pretty well mixed up. Um, because it is a very safe paint, I mean you can actually apply it with just a finger. Uh, you can see it does coat real nice. Uh, this can be used for face paint, this can be used for body paint. Uh, I'm going to be using it, like I said, with a model tomorrow, so I'm using it with a grown-up, but it's safe for kids. I mean, it's edible. It tastes like milk, uh, so when you're working with kids and whatnot and they want to play with paint, this is always a good, safe option. Fairly cheap. Um, I think all together I may have spent $5 on the food coloring and the, the uh, non-fat dry milk. So that just gives you an idea of what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I, I'll probably post a link to the pictures down below. Um, you can also comment, ask questions, um, leave feedback. I'm always open for that. Uh, so, like I said before, we've got the RZ uh, 120 back, 110 lens. It's probably going to be the one I'm going to use tomorrow. I don't know if I'll break out the 180 or not, but we'll see what tomorrow brings. So, like I said, leave comments below. Subscribe. That'd be great. And like I said, hit me up with any email or any questions you have uh, down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks.